back home built garage this is the x431 pro 5 launch and we're hooking up to a chevy cruise now as you can see it has no engine lights on it, it does need some fuel not a big issue for what we're doing we're going to hit intelligent diagnostics it's going to read the vent automatically and that's pretty quick and it shows you know 2011 gm cruise engine size so I'm not bringing that up engine model none of that but let's go into diagnostics and what I'm gonna do is a health report because I haven't showed this on shown this on any of my other videos because it does take a little bit of time so I've kind of steered away from it but I do want to show this feature because it is kind of useful so what this is gonna do is it's gonna scan every potential module it may not even have that module but it will scan for it and then it'll check and see if it has codes in that module and as you can see ECM fault code found there's one in there there's no engine light on so what that means is most likely that is probably an inactive code what it's useful for is you know say you want to go buy a car and yeah yeah engine lights on on you're good to go right well not necessarily they may have some stuff in there from the past that's gone inactive and just because it's not currently there doesn't mean that it's not going to be an issue later on down the road so it's kind of helpful to do something like this if the person was willing and you were you know going to help a friend or yourself and take your scanner along hook up to it and see what potential issues you may run into down the road or potential issues that may have been in the past uh, so it is kind of good feature for different stuff like that. Now, as you can see, this one here, here, mobile telephone control module, not equipped. So that's what I mean, and there's a couple more coming up, not equipped. It does take a little longer because it'll go through and read them all. But now you can see under boost code, uh, which I know that was taken care of, headlamp circuits. You know, this is all, a lot of this isn't necessarily big problems, but you can go right into enter. And connect to that module and you know go from there we got a automatic transmission but yeah you can go in read default code and troubleshoot from there as always thanks for watching like share and subscribe comment if you want me to show you something that this thing can or can't do and thank you as always i appreciate it